been to the moon or whooshed round the sun? Well, climb aboard, my friends. There is exploring to be done. It's a splendiferous space exploring show. And we're lifting off in three, two, one, go! The cat in the hat is about to appear. He's whizzing over to whisk you away on a fabulous journey today. He's coming! Now he's arrived in the thingamajigger, the thing that he drives. He's a cat and he oodles of fun with his hairy helpless thing to think one. Woohoo! the solar system, I'm freezing my fins off. I have just what you need. My Jetima dryer. This will warm up your water in a jiffy. Ah! 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 I must remember never to switch that on high. Where did fish go? Help! Ah! Ah! Oh, no! Fish! Ah! Ah! Fish, fish! I'd say this, but am I glad to see you? <laughs> Settle down, Rover. Settle down. I've spilt enough water already. <laughs> yeah! It's the return of Rover the Rescue Robot. Good job, Rover. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> Welcome back, Fish. Now that the Genoma Dryer has switched to gentle, I can warm you up without blowing you into orbit. <laughs> the first thing I need is more water. There's barely enough in here to stay wet. One large refill coming right up. All right, now where is that juggamaglug? Ah, here we are. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. It's empty. There's no water? That's a serious problem, especially if you're a fish. What do we do, Cat? It's a long way home without water. Hmm. Ah, uh, could I interest you in a little milk? <laughs> Refreshing? I don't think so. <gasps> what was that? A comet! That's just what we need. <laughs> Everyone, in the space of eraser. <laughs> Shouldn't we be trying to find water? Yeah! Why are we chasing a comet? Because comets are cosmic snowballs, and I have a plan! snowball filled with rocks and sand. Oop. On second thought, maybe I will have that milk. Your breathing problem will soon be over, Fish. Now that I have this. Uh, is there enough oxygen getting to your helmet? Just wondering. Of course there is. You have to have a sharp mind to come up with a clever plan like this. <laughs> <laughs> to the bottom. 
bottom. Yes! Water! Water! That ought to do it. <laughs> water. There. Our fish out of water problem is solved. Yay! You did it! Open up, Rover. <laughs> I've a special treat for you. Fish got his water. Rover gets his rock samples for astronaut Audrey. Ta-da! It's a win-win for everyone. Oh, wonderful. Another great achievement. We put the first snowman into space. <laughs> <laughs> Snowmen sure look different with the snow we use at home. When all you've got is dirty snow, all you get is a dirty snowman. <laughs> like the planets, comets orbit around the sun. And the closer they get, the more they glow. <laughs> Another story? All right. Here's one you'll like. Space Rover is a robotic probe built to explore our solar system. <laughs> <gasps> hey, there's Earth! Ah! That's our stop. Hurry to the space of eraser. Countdown for takeoff in five, four, three, two, one. Ah! We're still anchored to the comet. The things you forget when you're in a rush. Sorry about that little space spin. Little spin? I'm totally spun out. <laughs> Did we get off the comet in time? Are we close to Earth? There it is, Nick. Behind us. Isn't that a welcome sight? I see the space station, too. Right over there. So it is. <laughs> We're almost back where we started. I can't wait to tell astronaut Audrey about all the space exploring we did. I can't wait either. So what are we waiting for? To the space station. <laughs> Thank you so much for returning Rover safe and sound, everybody. You're welcome, Audrey. Now wait till you see what Rover brought back for you. Oh, I can't wait to see. Wow! These are some of the best planet photos I've ever seen. Oh, there's a good one. Nick and Sally Saturn surfing. Wonderful. Those rings can't be seen from Earth without a telescope, and, and you got a close-up. That's Titan. Saturn's biggest moon. Saturn has more than 50 moons, and you captured four of them in one photo. We did? Where are the other ones? Rhea, Hyperion, and Iapetus. There I am doing my imitation of Uranus. I was spinning sideways. <laughs> <laughs> Very creative. Scientists think Uranus may have gotten tipped sideways after hitting an object as big as planet Earth. <laughs> That's a trick shot. It looks like I'm holding Neptune on one finger. <laughs> well, if you could do that, your finger would get very cold. Neptune is known as an ice giant. And that picture went totally wrong. <laughs> <gasps> interesting. What's interesting? That. It's a moon, but I've never seen it before. Did we make a new discovery? Quite possibly. I'll have to examine that for future exploration. It's a discovery you'll have to share with Rover. He took the photo. Right. Too bad Rover isn't in any of the pictures. Someone had to be the photographer. And Rover did an excellent job of that, along with collecting these rock samples to study. For a small space probe, he could sure gobble down a lot of rocks. <laughs> well, his mission wouldn't have been a success without the help of top-notch space explorers like you. Glad we could be of service. It 
was great! We had fun! What was the best part? Hmm. Let me see. I say the best part is yet to come! It is? What's yet to come? Returning home to good old planet Earth! <laughs> to the Space Em Eraser! Yay! Let's go! <laughs> oh, sorry, Rover. There you go. Oh, Rover! <laughs> I'll miss you too. So will I. Same here. <laughs> oh dear. Ah, this is turning into a dewy eyed goodbye. Group hug! <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome to come back anytime. I know it. See you later. Bye, Audrey. Bye, Rover. Stand by for launch. Ready to exit space station in five, four, three, two, one. Ah, oh, look at that. I've seen everything from Mercury to Neptune. And I think we live on the prettiest planet there is. So do I. I think so, too. When I look at Earth from here, I see so many places we haven't been to yet. It may not be the biggest planet, but it sure has the most interesting places to go and explore. You're right about that. We're on our way home. Our space mission is done. We made new Backyard adventure that started up boring Took us way out to Neptune Cause we kept on exploring It was amazing! You've seen your world from a Whoa. new point of view <laughs> From higher and wider like explorers do Earth might be smaller than a lot of those others, but it's still full of mysteries. There's so much to discover. Buckle up, my dashing discoverers. It's time to go down, down, down some of Daisy. Here we go! Pleasure, as always. Doesn't the gravity feel great? <laughs> it's like Mother Earth holding us close because she's glad we're home. Oh, and I'm glad to be back, too. Come here. Let me give you a big hug. <laughs> well, then, what are we going to do now? What are you going to do now? You just finished exploring the whole solar system. But explorers are never done exploring. <laughs> Right you are, Nick. And I have that curious cat feeling that can only be satisfied by discovering the interesting and unusual. Then let's go back to the garden. There's lots more exploring to do there. Why, that's a splendid idea. Lead the way, Sally. We'll dig deeper. Peek closer. Look wider. Go higher. <laughs> 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 